Hey guys, the humble Southpaw here with uh, Mission First Pro Series holster. And before we dive into this review and all that, let me just take care of some uh, housekeeping. Uh, first of all, Mission First Tactical did send me this holster for review, but I will, and they asked me, it goes, will you give an honest review? And yes, I will be giving this an honest review. And, but, so I just wanted to give you guys, let you know that I did receive this as uh, the do the review. And for YouTube housekeeping, this firearm, the 365 XL, is not loaded. It does have a magazine in it, but there's no uh, ammo in the magazine and it is not loaded, okay? So just for that <coughs> sake. So let's go ahead and dive into this holster. And really, I think what it has to offer, uh, you know, with their uh, specifications and all that, is their pros. Um, I think they offer quite a bit here. So, um, but in the package here, I'm not sure if you were able to see that. Of course, you're going to get the holster. Now, this one I've already reconfigured for a left-handed draw. Uh, so you'll get the holster with uh, the clip, belt clips, and the claw. Uh, you'll also get the owner's manual, and you will get additional hardware. You will also get a belt clip for outside the waistband, uh, an additional pad for the claw, and any additional screws and, and washers that you would need to do uh, any modifications. So let's go ahead and let's just get dive right into this. Um, so this holster, of course, is inside the waistband, appendix, and outside the waistband. Uh, and a nice other nice feature, it is, it is set up where you can do it from a right-handed draw or a left-handed draw. So again, fully ambidextrous. Uh, provides the inside the waistband, appendix, and outside the waistband. Uh, they do have a nice new feature, and they are using, and so it is an inline magnetic retention. So basically, this does have the capability of using a, a weapons light. Uh, it's built around the, the TLR7 series, but it will take anything that fits, that is similar to that uh, footprint of the TLR7s. Uh, and even some of the other variances, the smaller ones, because what it's doing, it has a magnetic retention in here, which has about 11 pound pull. And in just one second, I will you know, show you how well that is. Plus it has, so if you're not running a weapons light, it has an integrated barrel uh, post in here. So, and I will show you in the video, I'll post it up. Um, really couldn't get a good view of this unless I did an overhead. But in a future video, I will do a video of showing you how to modify this, you know, switch it out to a left-handed, right-handed draw, the claw and all that. So in that process, you will see, actually see the, um, the magnetic retention in the integrated uh, barrel stabilizer. So that is a nice thing. It also has already built in wedges on both sides. You can do uh, 0 to 15 cant on even on uh, all of these on both the inside the waistband and outside the waistband. And it does have a optimized belt claw, which I said it comes with extra pads. So if you want it thicker, you're able to adjust it up and down. So these are nice features. And again, what makes uh, Mission First uh, Tactical a great holster and a great buy is they're using a, pure, a higher end thermoplastic. They are using Boltron. So that is your higher end that's used more in automotive and airline industries. So it's definitely going to hold up better. It's resistant to crack, you know, cold and hot weather. It's resistant to uh, chemicals and things like that. So they do use a higher end, you know, thermoplastic and not a Kydex. Kydex is probably your one step down below. So nothing not against Kydex and companies that use Kydex. It's just that they're using uh, a higher end. And also they have the the channel for your you know higher suppressor height sight uh, things it has the optic cut out and everything else so this is a very nice holster um, I've had the chance and I'm not a big inside the waistband or even an appendix carry host uh, person I've had the opportunity to you know to use this and, and have it carry it you know especially as an appendix carry sitting in chairs sitting on stairs and just seeing is it comfortable sitting in the car very comfortable very comfortable i would highly recommend it uh the only reason i am not a big inside the waistband i'm not going to buy my pants a little bit a size bigger so everything will you know so i can fit this inside the waistband um fortunately i've lost some weight so some of my pants are a little bit too big on me so i'm able to use those to 
to test things like this. So uh, definitely a nice feature. So let's go ahead and let's talk about the con. Uh, the con on this, and it is when you have to make adjustments. So if you're, this comes already set up for a right-handed draw. So if you have to do a left-handed draw or you want to adjust the heights on the clips, you're pretty much going to have to take this holster apart because this is not a two-piece holster. It is a, a clamshell, a single uh, piece that is molded and blended. Uh, so there's your, your openings on this side. And like I said earlier, I will be doing a full video on taking this apart and, and adjusting it and everything like that. Tried to do one the other day and man, it is a bear. So I'm gonna have to figure out how I can do a good video so you guys are able to get to see what it's going through. And also I'm gonna let you know is when they sent this out to me because I was left-handed, hey Jeff, it's gonna be a little bit, you know, swapping it out. Um, but it is, but honestly, for the, the quality holster, the comfort of the holster and everything else, it's not, once you get it set up, it's not a bad thing. So, I mean, definitely like the holster, definitely would recommend it. And you're probably all sitting there saying, okay, what about that magnetic retention? I'm trying to remember things here. Um, Off-site, because of YouTube's uh, restrictions and all here, I did have a full magazine loaded gun, and of course, did the upside down shake and all that. I'm not sure what that proves, because honestly, Am I going to be held by my feet over a banister so my gun is facing downward and is it going to pop out? And I get it. You just want to make sure it has good retention, uh, def definitely covers the trigger guard and all that. So, you know, good slide action. And this thing, this magnet is 11 pound pull. So uh, definitely would recommend this. Guys, I hope if you found this, inter this interview, <laughs> this review, uh, helpful guys give it a thumbs up definitely share and uh, please subscribe okay guys I'll be doing more giving it a full perspective of the firearms or the gears you know from you know a general perspective and then at the end I will give a South Paul's perspective for those that are South Paul's and want to understand how well things are you know in that from that perspective so definitely guys have a good one and be safe